Alrighty, well, hello, sinners. How are you? On today's installment of the Letterboard of Truth, our quote of the day is... Would you like fries with discourse? Ah, oh, America. Land of the free, home of the ninth largest pyramid in the world, with that pyramid being a base pro megastore. What's the first thing that you associate with the US of A? Is it guns, NASCAR, hot dogs, Costco, hot dogs from Costco? Maybe our attempts to deep fry everything or how we write our dates like that? Yeah, I find it weird too. When I think of my beautiful home country, two things come to mind. McDonald's and our incurable case of main character syndrome. Ironically, those are two central themes of today's story. You know, this video is supposed to be about McDonald's Japan, and here I am riffing about the United States. Maybe, maybe I'm part of the problem. But first, let's get the American ad out of the way. Menstruation is a totally normal and healthy bodily function many folks experience, which is why we need to destigmatize the conversation surrounding periods. For me, the debilitating cramps, fatigue, and mood changes can definitely get in the way of my productivity. I know it might sound counterintuitive because of the pain periods can cause, but moving my body actually improves my symptoms, even if it's just a 20 minute walk. If you been bleeding every 28 days, give or take, for a good amount of time, I'm sure you understand how expensive and painful this time of the month is. Us bleeding besties can go through several disposable menstrual products a month, but today's sponsor, Intamina, offers a convenient, beginner-friendly, and sustainable solution the Lily Cup One. No matter how small, our contributions to making an environmental difference are significant. And that can include making tiny adjustments to our daily habits. For example, switching to reusable period products. Thankfully, the Lily Cup One makes it easy to transition to reusable period products. It's made of medical grade silicone, which means you can avoid inserting products with weird chemicals or gross fibers into your body. The Lily Cup is tiny, collapsible, making it perfect for when you're on the go, and it comes with a very cute carrying case. There is a leak-proof double rim so you don't have to worry about anything extra falling out, and it has an easy removal loop for worry-free removal. Take a step towards a better period and improved overall intimate health. Check out the Intamina website linked below to learn more about the Lily Cup One. And if you want to save some cash, make sure you use my my coupon code Annamarie20 at checkout for 20% off all the Lily Cups range for the next month. By supporting Intamina, you're also supporting the channel, so thank you in advance. And thank you to my friends over at Intamina for caring about my sinner's menstrual health and also for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to your scheduled programming. McDonald's is the largest food chain in the world. It's located in 118 countries and territories with 38,000 stores worldwide. No matter how unfamiliar you are with an area, more likely than not, you'll be able to find a McDonald's within a couple miles. Many travelers even go out of their way to visit McDonald's establishments in other countries to try exclusive menu items. Its dominance in the food industry is undeniable. I'm sure we've all seen hundreds, if not thousands, of McDonald's commercials in our lifetimes. So why did these Japanese McDonald's ads spark such a large, mainly one-sided debate? Well, on September 20th of this year, the official Twitter account for McDonald's Japan posted a 20-second ad promoting this year's Happy Meal Halloween toys. Google Translate isn't the most accurate, but essentially, the caption is about having a happy time. If any of my sin at home speak Japanese, please feel free to drop the correct translation in the comments. <music> now, 
Now, this is unlike any McDonald's ad I've ever seen before. It's less corporate and more like those lo-fi radio live streams, and I love it. Turns out, many people felt the same way. Because of its cute art style and calm, catchy music, this ad got overwhelmingly positive feedback at first, not just from Japanese consumers, but from users all around the world. I think we're so used to having aggressive ads vie for our attention all the time, especially on TikTok. Like, that app's turned into the home shopping network at this point. You say, oh God, Harold, are you okay? Actually, I didn't have it locked. So, on the contrary, I think many found this ad refreshing because of its cozy and wholesome vibes. I even saw some fan art come from this ad. One artist named Coley Cycle or Kali Cycle on Twitter made this very cute drawing of the daughter eating a hamburger. Another artist named Stan Glass redrew the ad with two dads. And yes, this is the future liberals want. I'll link both of their pages below if you'd like to check them out. A couple days later, McDonald's posted two follow-up ads in the same adorable style. This time, instead of a family of three, the second ad featured three boys sitting outside eating McDonald's together. What can I say? It's just guys, guys being, being dudes. dudes. The third ad was published today, September 24th, AKA the day I'm filming, and it's an animation of the Halloween characters all together driving in a car. Again, both had the same cutesy, fun, wholesome vibe. It's great, and it should have been left at that. At the time of writing, the three ads have received a total of 141 million views on Twitter alone, so that means many eyes and ears have come across them. So don't be surprised when I say that it all goes downhill from here because people had to make it weird and fascist. We'll get into that, trust. Most of the discourse is directed at the video of the family, so I'll mainly be talking about that one. For starters, many users felt that the first ad with the family contained potential pro-natalist undertones. Most of the tweets were jokes, but still. Japanese McDonald's has made me need children. Rah! I am not immune to pro-family propaganda. McDonald's single-handedly fixing the declining birth rates. And they might not be far off either. Apparently, Currently, Japan has been experiencing a declining birth rate for almost a decade now. They hit an all-time low last year with fewer than 800,000 babies born. This is the lowest number since Japan began logging births in 1899. This equates to 1.26 children per family. I know you can't have one and a quarter child, by the way. That's just statistics for you. The fertility rate needed to maintain a population is 2.06 to 2.07. Japan's overall population has also been on the decline for 16 years, and they're projected to fall from 125 million to 87 million by 2070. This can have devastating effects on Japan's economy and national security. But a lot of young people in Japan aren't looking to start a family due to hopeless job prospects, rising costs of living, corporate cultures that make it difficult for both parents to work, and society's overall negative view of children. It's a little too close to home, don't you think? Prime Minister Fumio Kishida plans to reverse this issue by 2030, which is when the young population is expected to decrease even more. He plans on having the Japanese government provide allowances to families with children and increase funding in higher education. Late Prime Minister Shinzo Abe was also very vocal about Japan's declining birth rate until his passing last summer. Some users joked that McDonald's Japan was channeling Shinzo Abe's spirit when developing the commercial. With that being said, many consumers believe that a lot of Japanese media with family imagery is political propaganda because the government is so intent on increasing the birth rate. Look, I'm not saying this ad is politically fueled, but I thought it was important to mention that some feel like it's a possibility. Did you think we were gonna get into Japanese politics today? Neither did I. Despite the fact that these were ads for McDonald's Japan, they still made their way to American audiences, especially American viewers in alt-right circles. The conversation went from these ads are cute to Japan is destroying woke culture in the West, as if 
liberals and leftists will implode at the sight of a nuclear family? The sound of millions of child-free dog moms and soy betas weeping as McDonald's Japan ad single-handedly cures everyone's lifelong depression and makes them want a trad family of their own. Hey. Leave my bestie Ryan Gosling out of this. This ad from McDonald's Japan has been causing a huge reaction online because portraying a happy white family enjoying time together is now pretty much an act of hate speech in the West. How far we have fallen and how fast. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I assume all the characters, at least in the first two ads, are definitely not white considering that this was made in Japan with an anime art style? Again, if I'm wrong, let me know. And I promise you, there is no shortage of happy white families in the media. Not now and not ever. This went viral because the American mind cannot comprehend wholesome beauty in advertisements anymore. And it takes McDonald's Japan to snap us out of a psychologically terrorized state. I would love for this person to explain what they mean by wholesome beauty quickly. Thankfully, this next person answered that for me. It means a healthy, good-looking family, not transgenders or forced black people in advertisements. So we're just saying the quiet part out loud now? Westerners have become so conditioned to seeing every advertisement filled with race mixing and homosexuality that when McDonald's Japan drops an ad with a normal family, everyone loses their minds. Who is losing their minds exactly? Because the only thing I see is a bunch of folks on the right complaining about how the left is complaining. Meanwhile, I have seen almost no one on the left give a shit about these ads. But I've noticed an interesting trend of bringing race and now sexuality into the conversation. I wonder why that's happening. Oh, that's why. Now I know who we're working with here. The amount of people I've seen go mask off, sorry, I should say hood off because of this advertisement is concerning. McDonald's Japan is winning Western hearts and minds with their wholesome ads. Something dearly missed in an era where ads are now sassy black DMV women and lesbians talking down to white people and men. I love how normal everyone's being about this. Can you spot the difference? McDonald's advertising efforts portray its promotion of family values in Japan, whereas in the West, it subverts society with woke propaganda. If you're confused, this person is drawing a comparison between the first ad with the family and this tweet from McDonald's USA in 2020 amid the Black Lives Matter protests. McDonald's USA shared a thread of powerful voices that were speaking at that year's BET Awards, and this person in particular is a black trans woman. I'm Amara Jones, founder of Translash Media. In this Black Lives Matter moment, black trans women have a very simple message. Stop killing us. We can't expect others to care about us more than we care about ourselves. We're all free, or none of us is. Granted, this was probably virtue signaling on McDonald's behalf, of course, but at least they were giving black voices a platform. Try and spot the difference on Thursday. The cholesterol-laden fast food chain appears to embrace sanity in Japan while promoting woke insanity in the US. Let's begin with the Japanese ad. McDonald's understands Japan doesn't tolerate mental illness and instead embraces family traditions. After all, Japan is in the middle of a demographic winter. In the West, McDonald's has seized the opportunity to boost its diversity and inclusive index score to the moon by outwoking all other burger joints with this ridiculous ad. Black trans women have a very simple message. Stop killing us. This is DEI at work and a small minority imposing their ideals and beliefs on the vast majority. Very few in the majority want to hear about what this morbidly obese black trans woman says while chowing down on a cholesterol-laden burger. <laughs> All right, so according to this user, McDonald's Japan embracing family values makes them sane and normal. And on the contrary, McDonald's USA is pushing woke propaganda and woke insanity by highlighting the very real issues black trans women face. Though as we learned earlier, the same ad can also be considered propaganda because they are promoting those quote unquote family values. In reality, there's room to talk about both topics. We can portray happy families in the media while also listening to marginalized voices. I was wondering why I like this ad so much and then it hit me. The family is normal. None of the family members are LGBTQ, fat, 
race mixing or any of the other garbage we see in America 24-7. Again, these people are saying the quiet part out loud. A lot of their rhetoric just feeds into the ridiculous conspiracy theory that the white race is going to go extinct if we allow different groups to intermingle, reproduce, or even exist. And somehow, McDonald's Japan making an ad with a traditional family will save Western society from the horrors of intersectionality. I'm not gonna call people like this fascists outright, but they are doing a very good job at parroting fascist talking points. And if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, that duck might be a fascist, ooh. Ultimately, this is all projection. Many folks on the far right assume that the left hates nuclear families the same way they hate non-traditional families. As in, say, families with a single parent, queer parents, or interracial parents with interracial children. They see diversity as a threat, and it's almost like they're afraid of becoming the minority. I'm sorry, is there something wrong with that? It's not like marginalized groups are treated unfairly in this country. In reality, leftists and liberals don't hate the nuclear family. Many people on the left are actually in traditional relationships themselves. We actually believe that non-traditional families deserve the same amount of respect and representation that nuclear families have always gotten. Like, it's okay if you're a single parent or if you want to start a family with someone outside your race. Which is why the left didn't have a negative reaction to this ad. Or if they did, it didn't cause quite as much of a stir as the reaction from the right. What really matters is that you're surrounded by people who love and care about you. At its core, that's what the first ad was all about. A happy family eating McDonald's and enjoying each other's company. But what if that happy family included two moms or two dads? Would the right still think it's wholesome or would they accuse McDonald's Japan of going woke? I think we know the answer. But after all this, who is the real winner of this international culture war? Honestly, I think we're all losers, and the only one coming out on top is McDonald's. This is the best free promotion McDonald's Japan could have ever asked for. I don't think they have a political agenda either. They have a profit agenda. And if there are political messages in these ads, then they're most likely directed at Japanese consumers not Americans. McDonald's Japan is certainly not stepping in to save the West or whatever nonsense the alt-right is talking about. Like literally every other company, McDonald's is willing to put out whatever message as long as people continue patronizing their restaurants. Furthermore, I think the rest of us need a touch grass agenda because a couple McDonald's ads shouldn't rile up the internet this much. So with that, I'm gonna end the video right here. I'm very eager to hear your reactions to McDonald's Japan's recent ad campaign and all the discourse that has followed it. So please let me know any and all your thoughts down below. But thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a tiny, tiny thumbs up and subscribe down below. Thank you so much to Intamina for sponsoring today's video. I love you guys and I'll see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye!